Karen Joy Fowler's short story, Booth, presents a poignant exploration of the relationship between John Wilkes Booth, the infamous assassin of President Abraham Lincoln, and his younger brother, Edwin Booth, one of the most celebrated actors of the 19th century. Through her narrative, Fowler raises questions about the nature of celebrity, the burden of family ties, and the consequences of violence. The story is told from the perspective of Asia Booth Clark, the sister of John and Edwin, who is haunted by the memory of her brother's crime and the role she may have played in it. Asia's reflections on her past are interspersed with glimpses of her present-day life as a recluse, living alone with her memories in a small apartment in Boston. One of the key themes of the story is the tension between fame and anonymity. Edwin Booth is depicted as a man burdened by the weight of his reputation, unable to escape the shadow of his illustrious name. Asia notes that the public thought they knew everything about Edwin, but no one knew him at all. Despite his success on stage, Edwin is haunted by the memory of his brother's crime and the fear that he may be judged guilty by association. Fowler suggests that celebrity can be a double-edged sword, providing recognition and adulation but also isolating the individual from their true self. Another theme that runs throughout the story is the idea of family ties and the bonds that unite siblings. Despite the distance that has grown between them, Asia still feels a strong connection to her brothers and is troubled by the knowledge that John may have acted on behalf of their family's honor. She recalls her childhood memories of playing with her brothers and admiring Edwin's talent on stage, but also acknowledges the strain that their parents' expectations put on the family. Fowler portrays the Booths as a family marked by ambition and rivalry, in which love and loyalty are tested by the demands of success. Finally, the story raises questions about the legacy of violence and the weight of history. Asia is acutely aware of the role that her family's name has played in American history and the way that John's act of violence has defined their reputation. She reflects on the irony that John, who had aspired to be remembered as a great actor like his brother, instead became infamous for his crime. Fowler suggests that history is shaped not only by the actions of individuals but also by the stories we tell about them and the meanings we attach to their deeds. In terms of narrative structure, Booth is notable for its use of fragmentation and nonlinear storytelling. The story unfolds in a series of vignettes, each focusing on a different aspect of Asia's memories and experiences. The narrative jumps back and forth in time, blurring the distinction between past and present, and relies on implication and suggestion rather than explicit exposition. This approach mirrors Asia's own fragmented state of mind and the way that her memories are constantly intruding on her present-day existence. In conclusion, Karen Joy Fowler's Booth is a powerful meditation on the legacy of fame, family, and violence. Through her nuanced portrayal of the Booth family and their complex relationships, Fowler raises questions about the nature of celebrity and the way that history shapes our understanding of the past. By using a fragmented narrative structure and a reflective narrator, she creates a haunting portrait of a woman grappling with the weight of her family's history and the burden of memory.